John Ram explains perfectly how to bring power into your iron shots. Now we all know he's known for his short swing. So he goes about it a lot differently. And a lot of us might be the same, whether we swing short for more consistency or we swing short because we can't actually swing any longer. Now what he said is most normal people pull a bow and arrow, if this is a bow and arrow, all the way back and let it go. But what he does is he does it differently. He pulls his backswing back a little bit. He then starts his downswing jaw on his backswing, then lets it go. And we're gonna use this to help you bring some more power into your iron shot. So what is John Ram saying here? Because I appreciate the bow and arrow analogy might sound a little crazy, but essentially what he's saying here is most of us swing back at the minute, we go back, and then in a separate motion, we start down. Now that's not very powerful. What he does is, as he's swinging back, he starts to load his power so he's primed and ready to get through. So let me show you those differences again. Most normal people, the likes of me and you, we train this way, we load back, we come through. What we've got to get doing here, if we want more power, oof, and through. Now I've got a five step guide to help bring this into your game and something that you can work on down at the range. As I say with all these, you know if you're doing this right, because I break them down into like five little mini steps. Also guys, if you're wondering, like where do I get all these ideas for on the channel? Well, it's you. This channel is powered by you, the viewers, so be sure to subscribe and turn the bell, because today we're answering these questions, but I could be answering yours next. So that way, put in your comment or query about your swing down below, subscribing and turning on the bell means you always get notified when I release a video and it could be the one that is your comment for me helping you improve. Now, when I start hitting golf balls in this drill, I'm gonna be hitting them off a little bit of a tee peg just to help me get the feeling in my swing. Now, step one is let's get your feet together, okay? And let's grip your seven iron. I would start with your seven iron just because it's one of those clubs where we all have a little bit of a comfort blanket with it. But it, by all means, if that is an eight iron for you or a nine iron, go with what is comfortable, right? It's about you improving, right? So choose the most comfortable club. Stage one, get your feet together like I have here. Stage two is we've got to just start making some back swings. So keep the feet together to begin with, no step right now, but just get used to that. Just that, feet together. Now, I actually think this has got many benefits for our swing. Like, most of us have a little bit of a sway or we stand up or we fall off balance. So just doing this alone will really help us spiral and stay centered. So just have a little practice at that. Okay, once you've got comfortable just making that, we're now on to stage three. This is where we're gonna start introducing some power, okay? We're not hitting any yet. It's about getting the coordination of power. And essentially, you've got to think about the golf swing this way. The bigger the stretch I can create between my upper and lower, the more power I'm going to create. And that John Ram step really does that. You can see this, if I'm turning back and my lower half's going towards target, I'm coiling creating that power. So at stage three, what I'm gonna get you to do now, again, no shots please just yet. These are little steps as I say to make sure you're doing it right. I want you to focus on this. As your hands pass your hip height, we're gonna step through and swing through. So watch this. I'll repeat that again. As your hands pass hip height, step through, swing through. Now you don't have to do this fast. You don't have to do this fast at all. All I'm looking for you to do is get the coordination. Now, preferably, as you do it, I want you to start hitting the ground. Don't miss the ground. That really gets that feeling of power into that shot. You know what's actually interesting? I didn't think of this before, but look where the ball is. I was addressing there, and I've actually caught the ground every time. It means I'm hitting down. Okay, now at stage four, we can start hitting some shots away. I'm just gonna hit one like this and then I'll tell you what I feel on the course to make my irons more powerful on the back of using this drill with me and all my students. So, start with your feet together, but what I want you to do is 
Start with your feet together where your right foot is just behind the golf ball. This way when you step, we're then through and in, okay? Watch me here. Start where my right and left foot are behind the golf ball so we can step and hit through. Look how powerful that looks. That's where we're gonna get. Watch this hit. Here we go. I'm not gonna swing it too fast. I'm not gonna hit too hard. I'm training that move. <laughs> Look at that. That was absolutely crunched. Did you hear that noise? Okay, this is what I feel on the course. Now, I just wanna reiterate one point here. Not at any point on the course am I getting you to step through. But what that's training is, that idea of a subtle sensation that still as my hands are traveling back, I'm starting to get those hips turning to target. So anywhere around here, where your hands are, just have that idea of getting into that left side a bit earlier. Because more on your left side creates more of a strike. So simply, as your hands are going back, try and feel your belt buckle starts just pointing a little bit towards target. Don't turn yourself inside out. Just a little bit is more than what you were doing. So therefore you've got more power than you had before. So here we go. I just do it softly and subtly like this. Oh, just like that. And what you'll see is that ball become a lot more penetrating through the air. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.